Six Pianos, back to 1973. Uh, Six Pianos was uh, <laughs> the first, the, first uh, uh, the, the beginning of the idea was that uh, I had uh, made friends with a man by the name of Jack Roman who ran the Baldwin Piano Store in Manhattan back in the 70s, I guess, early 70s. <coughs> and he said, if you ever want to rehearse in the store at night, you can do it. I was like, hey, that's be great. We'll just have all the pianos and a piano store. Well, <laughs> we tried something with 12 pianos, and it was such a mess. I mean, it was just a joke. So we finally realized that, that six was a lot, and even then we started playing spinets, just little pianos that could be very close together. And eventually we got good at it, so we could do it with, with grands, but they have to be as close physically as you can make them. Um, and um, it's, it's, a, it's a, a very rhythmic piece. Uh, the challenge there was I was writing in 4 4, which is not the meter that I usually write in. It tends to be uh, heavy handed and too, too square 4 4. But uh, I think it works in, in six pianos. Um, and it's very uh, demanding to play physically. You're playing over, I mean, it really has demanding repetitions. And you're also playing, the whole piece takes place in the middle of the piano. There's nothing on the bottom, nothing on the extreme top. So there are a lot of jokes about that. Um, and uh, eventually, it, it was also transcribed, uh, slightly in different key, uh, for six marimbas as well. Same piece, different key. Uh, but I think it's a successful piece, and um, you need very rhythmic uh, pianists, and sometimes even percussionists can play as well or better than the pianist, depending who's playing.